Hey guys, so we are in Washington for this trip. We're gonna be spending four nights out here and we just plan on doing some hikes and exploring. Um, so for tonight, we just pulled off on the side of the road here to camp um, off on this forest road. And then in the morning, we're gonna get up and head into the Wenatchee Forest where we're gonna find a hike and a camping spot there to probably spend a couple nights. Um, yeah, so we're just tucked in here for the night and uh, with this awesome view though, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. Like what you see? Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on all of our latest adventures. Hey guys, so today is actually Jason's birthday and uh, I have a surprise for him. I, my parents and I went in together and bought him this really nice knife that he's been wanting forever. So I'm going to surprise him with that later. Not sure how I'm going to do it yet, but I'll figure it out. So far he thinks that he's not getting any gifts, so <laughs> this is going to be awesome. Just going to find a clever way to, to surprise him. Before taking off that morning, we enjoyed our coffee with a view and plotted out where to camp next. We are off to our next destination now. We're going to find some camping that's near the town of Leavenworth because we've both been wanting to check that town out. It looks really cool. Um, and then I think tomorrow we're going to find a hike. But today we're just going to roam around Leavenworth and hopefully find a cool camping spot near there. And it's Jason's birthday, so he do whatever he wants. Yay! Happy birthday. The drive from Gifford Pinchot National Forest to Wenatchee National Forest is so beautiful. The terrain changes so much within just a couple of hours, from rainforest to desert to beautiful alpine mountains. Since Washington is known as the Evergreen State, I never really think of it as having all of this beautiful desert. We just had to stop at this beautiful viewpoint. You can see the cascades from here. It's really neat. It's actually where we're headed now. It's cool to see it from a distance.
so now we're looking for our campsite for the night and we came on this uh, dirt road it's really steep and really windy and then coming up here we noticed there was a little sign that said something about private land so we're finding a place to turn around um, it's weird because on the map it shows it as national forest land but I guess this little section might not be so we're trying to get turned around here now find a place that's safe like I said it's pretty steep but we found a little a clearing that we think is big enough so. oh well incredible views up here but gotta find a different spot to go to even more up on the map there's a lot more roads um, but there's a lot of really tight turns and so we're actually gonna just do drop the trailer off right here in this little spot we found and then take the car around see if we can find a better spot and then come back and get the trailer if we do find something cool we just don't want to risk getting stuck or being in a really tight turnaround because there's a lot of cliffs around here uh, that's the plan for now up finding a beautiful spot at the top of the mountain so we headed back down picked up the teardrop and headed back up the mountain to what will be home for the next two nights here it is here's the campsite this is the reason why we wander around on these trails for hours <laughs> trying to find the perfect spot so we can have views like this This is definitely mountain lion territory, um, so we're just gonna have to be a little bit on high alert about that and keep Sam really close by. Not only that, but we did see a very well devoured uh, what was left of a deer on the way up here. That was a little unnerving, but we'll just be careful. We'll, we'll be loud, <laughs> and uh, I'll try not to look like an injured animal. 
<laughs> so we're back in the car. We walked up to the top of the hill at our campsite to check out more of the views and Jason noticed the road kept going down a little bit and he was like, oh, it looks like there's another clearing down there for a campsite. So we left the trailer and we're driving down this road now and it's getting a little too sketchy for my liking so I made him stop and get out and now he's walking down this rocky road to see if the truck will make it. I'm not a fan of going down here but he's gonna do it because you know guys doing guy things. <laughs> While I'm here waiting for him um, so I guess we're not actually gonna go to Leavenworth today which we had hoped to do. Um, it just took a lot longer to find a, a um, parking spot, a camping spot than we hoped. Um, so it's already almost three o'clock and then by the time we get there we don't know when things close or how it's even gonna be there. So we're gonna uh, spend the rest of the day here um, just kind of hanging out celebrating his birthday which I still need to figure out where to hide his present. <laughs> And uh, we're gonna hit up Leavenworth tomorrow and stay two nights at this spot. So that's uh, that's our new plan. He says it's fine. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god! Oh yeah, this makes me so nervous. Why are you nervous? Cause it's so rocky. And because right there is it, a cliff. <laughs> so we made it safely around that part. And he's like, I don't know where it is. I think it might be up here. And then we come to this, which I'm like, oh my gosh, it looks really sketchy. So, he's really determined to find this spot. So he's up there checking it out, see where it goes. I'm fine with the spot that we're at right now, but, you know, there could be something better around the turn. Alright, I've been waiting a really long time for him, and I'm getting kind of nervous. He's been up there a long time. So he's either still walking, because he's so determined to find this spot, or I don't know. I don't even want to think what else. <laughs> but yeah, he's been up there a while. <sighs> ah, I see him. Here he comes. Oh my god, I'm so relieved. I was just about to get out and walk up there. Phew! That makes me happy. Yay! Oh, yeah, this road dead ends up here, so I'm not sure what the route is to get to it, but it's not this one. Are we backing up? Um, I'm gonna turn around right here. Phew! I did not want to drive up that. Well, there's a huge rock slide up oh, there. Oh, God. Anyway, so. Yeah, see? Listen to me more often. <laughs> I'm glad we decided to turn around and head back to our original campsite. figured out where I'm going to hide it. I'm going to put it in the ice chest and when he goes to get a beer, it'll be right there. Oh shit. <laughs> nice. Well played. Well played. <laughs> wow. You yeah. see what it is? Heck yeah. My parents went in on with me. That was it nice. Was from them. all of us. Wow. <laughs> the knife to open up your knife. Look at that. 
Fancy. That's nice. Yeah, they changed the sheath. Wow. You got your knife. I did. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Heck yeah. Happy birthday to me. Heck yeah. Well, now that he's found his present, <laughs> um, I'm going to make him dinner he requested, which is actually breakfast. A chickpea breakfast hash with veggies. And he also requested to add bacon, but I failed and forgot. And <laughs> so I'm going to put sausage in it instead. And uh, I'll post the recipe for it down there. of this awesome wine club and we usually save the bottles for special occasions because it's really good and this is the one Jason picked out to drink for his birthday it's the Willamette Valley Vineyards Pinot 2017 they have really good Pinots by the way Drink with the pinky up. Because we're fancy today. Ooh, that's tasty. That is good. <laughs> Jason, Jeez. happy birthday to you. Oh, uh, <laughs> you're. Oh, that's good. That is good. After that delicious meal, we walked up to a little viewpoint at our camp where Jason enjoyed his birthday cigar, we drank the rest of the wine, and watched the sunset. So it's really dry and high fire danger right now, so we're not gonna have a fire tonight so I think we're just gonna sit here and watch this amazing sunset for the rest of the night. Once that sun goes down, it gets really cold, and since we couldn't have a fire, we hung out in the teardrop for the remainder of the night and played games. It's like a beautiful sunny day out there. Awesome.
Ready to start the day, Sam? You ready to start the day? Yeah? Get your breakfast? Yeah? You ready for breakfast? You ready? Today we are going to go check out the town of Leavenworth, which should be pretty fun. Kind of excited. It looks really pretty in pictures. I guess it's a little uh, Bavarian town. Is that right? I think so. Yeah, I love towns like that. So, Solvang. yeah, <laughs> I guess it's similar to Solvang in California. If you, any of you know where that is, um, so I'm excited and. Uh, can enjoy our coffee and then head out. There were so many birds and chipmunks out that morning. Watching them was the perfect way to start the day. I would wait a lifetime if you were at sea. I just want to say that I feel that my love is real. Maybe we should hurry up and seal the deal oh. Oh. Thanks for watching and be sure to join us in part two as we check out the town of Leavenworth.